Hi everyone. Today, we're making the fuselage of a drone. First, we model the structural frame of our UAV. I'll make the frame parts from 2mm 3 ply plywood. I'm preparing the file for the laser cutter. I'm trying to arrange the parts as tightly as possible to save material. For the frame, I use high-grade plywood without defects. I assemble the fuselage frame and test fit it in the fiberglass mold I made earlier. My drone will have a rear pusher propeller configuration. The motor will be mounted to the body using a 3D printed support. While assembling the frame, I found a few design mistakes I'd made. But nothing serious, I fixed everything with a utility knife. We'll glue the frame inside two fiberglass halves. I previously made the carbon shells for the upper and lower sections using these same molds. Carbon tubes will be glued in to connect the wings. I also made slots in the mold for the guide tubes. This should reduce misalignment between the fuselage and wing tubes and ensure a precise fit. I measure and prepare the main and guide tubes. I check the assembly once again. Once everything's ready, I clean the molds. I wax the guide tubes and both mold halves to prevent sticking. I place the carbon shell into the mold. I had to sand off some carbon near the wing roots. I coat those areas with resin mixed with carbon fiber. My vacuum setup wasn't great when I made the shells, so the carbon lifted off in those spots. But I'm gradually improving my vacuum setup. I add glass microspheres to the resin. It makes a nice thick filler paste. I add enough filler so the resin doesn't run off the frame while I apply it. First, I coat the frame joints and assemble them together. Then I apply resin to the areas that will contact the lower mold half. I carefully place the frame into the mold with the carbon shell. Music 
I glue in the remaining plywood parts, the motor mount, and apply resin to the top surface and the second shell. I join the mold halves and bolt them together. After the resin cures, I remove the part. I remove excess resin and flashing. It turned out that leftover wax on the shell makes resin residue easy to scrape off with a knife. I made an opening in the bottom of the fuselage. A tube will be glued into this opening. It will be used to attach the drone to the launch mechanism. Where there are seams, I reinforce them from the inside with resin and carbon fiber. I also glue the contact areas between the launch tube and the fuselage halves. I use stretch film to prevent excess resin drips. Once again, I prepare filler paste with microspheres. I fill the gaps and voids on the outside. I also smooth out the areas where the carbon lifted off during infusion. Since this is a prototype, I won't spend too much time on finishing. After a couple of days, once the resin has cured, I do the final sanding of the fuselage. 